Hello guys and welcome to a series that I've actually been putting off for quite a while if I'm honest. Now this series is going to be one in which, you know, it, it's space engineers really. I'm just going to be chilling on survival mode and just doing what I actually do and just chilling, doing whatever really that seems suitable, you know, whatever seems fair to say. Now, I'm going to start with a survival world and I will call this world Royal Rooster Recording as that's really what it's going to be. It's going to be an offline word world. Uh, put it on normal. Put that on large and any mods that we want on. Uh, I don't actually have any mods. Okay, I thought I did. <laughs> Do we want? Ooh. Uh, I think I think this is all going to be okay. Clients can save trash all time. Removal reset on the ship. Enable spectator. Uh, so yeah, we are actually just going to go on the. Hmm. Which one do we want? Start in a rescue ship. I start in the rescue ship. Make sure we're on survival. Okay. To every action there is always an equal and opposite reaction, or the forces of the two bodies on each other are always equal and are directed in operate in opposite directions. That's Newton's third law. Um, I, I presume it is. <laughs> I don't see why space engineers would lie about something like that, but you never know. Sorry about that guys, I just needed to have a sip of a drink. Right, so as you can see my computer is going to take a while to load for some reason. There you go, I can get in the bin. And I don't understand why, but also I don't understand why when I initially loaded up this game with fraps on, of course, I didn't actually have it recording. My computer decided that it was running at over 5600 frames. I think it was eating about 5870, 5860. And I was like, no, that's clearly not right. Um, it's clearly something wrong there. Right. Temporary ship, it will get removed after you leave. No, it won't. That shouldn't get removed. Um, there is definitely a way to go into third person here. I'm going to say, because if this ship actually got removed, guys, you know how difficult that would make this game? Because then that means you'd have to mine it and you wouldn't be able to, you know, like, refine it or anything. So that would make it basically impossible. My god, why is this? What's going on here? Why why can't I stop? Um Right, so let's just turn all of it off. I'm still floating. I don't really understand why. Don't understand what's going on whatsoever. Come on, bring to a stop. There's definitely other. Oh, there's definitely a way that you can. Oh damn! What is it? Navigation. Uh, nope. Systems one. Nope. Systems two. Is it dead? There we go, this now means we can stop, it will automatically stop us and stuff like that. It just basically means it's going to become a lot easier to do stuff. Um, we should probably find some uranium first, if I am quite honest. Right, so let's leave this cockpit. Let's get our drill on. Where would our drill be? What? We can't just build this, can we? Ah, oh, that's alright, that's fine. Uh, where is my inventory? Is it K? Yes, it is. I will have that. I need that put onto my bar. The configure toolbar, press G. Alright, so we don't want any of this. We actually just want our tools, weapons and tools. I can't even find it. 
I need the handheld one, so I need the drill. Character tools, that's what I'm after. I need the hand drill on. I need the grinder on, just in case we need to salvage any supplies, and I need the welder, if I'm honest. Um, so, let's interact with that. I've got to keep an eye on my oxygen, whatever that is. What the bloody hell? Can, can I get out, please? Ah, there you go. It seems to be pulling me back in. Or seem to have been, should I say. No longer is. Uh, right, so there's some iron over there. What we really need is uranium. I probably should have put a beacon on there or something. You know, activated a beacon on there. I probably should have at least. I'm not sure whether I actually did. So is this all iron? I forgot what you use to pick things up. Um, ah, T, T, T. Right, so if we just spam T while I'm doing this, maybe I'll be able to get a bit of it. Right, so my inventory is already full, so as you can see, it does fill up quite quickly. This, however, though, this series, I think should be okay, just purely because of the fact that we can make a lot of progress, we can make a lot of videos, because Space Engineers is awesome. Right, so, interact. What's my energy? Ah, so that's my energy is my oxygen, essentially, guys. Ah, Kate open. Right, you start refining a bomb load of iron. Um, I know that iron's really, really quick to refine, actually, so that's always good. But we don't have any uranium. Is there any uranium over here? I think this is a beautiful game, by the way, guys. I feel that this is a very, very beautiful-looking game overall. All right, so we've got some gold, actually. I mean, gold, for me, was one of the hardest things to initially find. Um, I don't know about you guys, whether it was for you or not. But for me, gold was like finding. <laughs> it was basically impossible to find. I did actually do a series with this. Uh, not a series, I did. Uh, quite often I played with my mate Alex. And we actually just kind of chilled and we played this and we did whatever. And it was actually quite fun. And it was quite easy to do at first, as he'd done a lot more on survival than I had. So this is how I've actually become to play survival. Ah, my inventory is full, right. I think what I do need to do is I need to get into my ship, I need to go find a bigger, better rock, really. Uh, as this rock's not the best. Is it rain the other side of this? My ship? Can't exactly remember. It's a shame that we haven't managed to find anything with uranium in. Is there uranium in the core? Maybe. It, it would help if I could even find my ship, though. There it is. And if you guys are wondering, oh well, why do you need uranium? If you've never actually played this before, uranium is this thing that actually allows your ship, shall we say, to be powered. Uranium is what actually powers your entire ship. There's no way getting around that. Uh, not as far as I know, at least. Unless you install mods and stuff, of course. But uranium, as far as I know, guys, is the only potential way to do it. Now, we will eventually be able to build like mining ships and stuff like that and just random stuff that we can just personally hop in at any point and just you know go mining with it or pick up all the stuff it'll do whatever but for now this is the cars that we've been dealt I suppose is the best way to put it um is this actually even got no there's no gravity in here there is a lot of iron though no uranium however which is quite saddening is this rock or this is silver? Now I wouldn't mind getting me some silver if I'm quite honest. By the way guys when it lags it's just simply because it's saving my world. Um, nothing more. So of course I don't want to hit the thing too hard either. If I hit the wall too hard I will die. There we go there's my ship again. I think we are actually just going to go off and just see whether we can fly to a near by um, asteroid, like, we'll probably go over to that one. Ooh, right, so that's the inventory, that's the refinery. Now let's get the, let's get the silver going at least. Um, I know uranium as well guys, my god does uranium take some time to process. Uranium takes forever to process. Where is the door? The door is here. Nope, 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 right, okay. 
So I think we can just turn my jetpack off like I was about to say, yeah. Turn that off, then we can change my appearance actually, so it's changey. Um did have a few mods on him which I could have like changed to like some urban camo stuff. It'd have been quite cool but where is it that I actually There we go. T to recharge and heal. T not R. So I'll do the wrong button for a little while there guys. I'm hoping these um, sort of episodes will be around about 15 minutes or around that at least, maybe not exactly or anything like that but I think around 15 minutes is quite fair. Temporary ship it will get removed after you lose the game or spawn in a new one. So this actually is apparently going to disappear after I leave this game. Um, now I don't think that's exactly very fair to be quite honest because of the fact that we don't actually have a new ship at the moment so I will literally have to sit there and play this game now until you know I actually manage to get a new ship now that's going to be quite difficult considering I have a limited amount of space on here and that also means I have to conserve the amount of space I've got to do a load of other stuff and yeah, it's just going to become quite difficult to say the least. So we can slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I think we're actually going to take shelter within this place. Um, because I know that meteor shows can become inbound and stuff like that. And they can do a lot of damage. I'm going to say a lot of damage. I mean a lot of damage. Power usage is not too much. If I'm honest, it's not too bad. Right, so let's jump out for the moment. Open this. Let's grab on our jetpacks. And let's go. Let's see whether we can find anything of any value. So there's iron. So then this is all stone, I'm presuming. Oh, please. Please be what I need. Is this uranium? That just disappeared. Or is this just where it's been torn through slightly? And you still stone. I don't know. At the minute it looks like there isn't no uranium here. Oh god guys. This spawn is like literally one of the worst I've ever had. Um, it's purely because of the fact there is no uranium in any of these. And that can be quite a difficulty as uranium guys is literally like I said the thing that powers your ship is literally what you need to survive. Um, Right, let me turn myself back around. Whack off my jetpack so I can get back in. Close that door. Close that door. Gotta remember to keep an eye on my energy as if I do not, then I may die. <laughs> and I don't really fancy dying. I do believe we've already been able to that one. I think we've searched that one. Um, is there any more asteroids around here? Oh. There isn't actually that many asteroids in this world really, so guys. I think that's the one that we just searched. Or is this the one that we just searched, the big bowl I think. Uh, let's go search over here. I mean, it might take us a while to get there. We've only got 9 minutes fuel time. Um, so I'm hoping. I really hope. Right, we'll, we'll head over to this one first because this one's just close out. And I'm just going to hope that this has something on it, you know. Um, whether that's... Well, as long as it's uranium that's all that matters because as you can tell we only had 15 minutes fuel time when we very first started I do believe now we're on 8 minutes fuel so it's going to be quite difficult this one actually seems like it's slightly further off than that one is yeah we would have already landed on that one this one just seemed closer off for some reason right so let's park up slow down slow down slow down slow down Let's try and dodge the asteroid if we can. Ooh, that was quite close. All right, so let's actually get back in there. Turn off all power. There's no gravity on, nothing. All right, so what's gonna have to happen is we're just gonna have to turn this, open this, oh, open. All right, so let's turn that on for a sec so then we can then open the door. Ah, so we've got to even... 
So you've got to even have the power on just to be able to open that door, which is quite scary if you think about it, guys, because we have very, very low power. And all we seem to be able to find is iron. There's a load of iron, there's a bit of platinum. Stone. There seems to be nothing of actual real use. Um, see, we could have started on the easy start world, but then that would have just been no fun. What, what's this stuff? Is this silicon? Oh, it's uranium. Oh, guys, it's beautiful uranium. Now, this will take a while to process, but just the fact that now we found uranium excites me ever so much. Right, so our inventory is full. That's completely. F can, I, can I get the mail back out, please? So, we have just lost a shit ton of uranium. I mean, you really do need to have a mining ship in order to effectively mine anything in this game, unless it's inside, like, a crater or something. Uh, where is our ship? It's over there. My god, everything's getting laggy towards like the end of a 15 minute mark in the video now. And I'm not really 100% sure why, I just think my RAM card started to just explode. So guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do me a favour, like, comment, favour, subscribe, there's a lot of stuff down below. Um, what may I with a share if you want to help me out tomorrow to 250 subscribers, guys. But yes, guys, it's been Raw Rooster. Thank you guys very much, and I'm out. Peace.